Hi, this is from Morocco Blessings from Blessings Academy of Health Sciences. So in today's lab session, we're going to focus on experiment three. And I encourage all the first years to watch this video because this is the experiment that you're going to be covering during the course of this week. So we're going to focus much more on the limiting reagent as well as the excess reagent of a chemical reaction. So now, when you get back to your lab manuals, much of what we're going to focus on is stoichiometry, where we're going to focus on the limiting and the excess reagent of a chemical reaction. So in this chemical reaction, we've been given um, two reactants. And the first reactant that we've been given here is barium chloride. React with sodium sulfate. Going to give us the product barium sulfate plus the sodium chloride. Okay. So now, one thing that we need to understand from here is this. There are two important ways that I've put in place here. The first one is limiting reagent. And the second part of it is the excess reagent. So now, there's an important note here that is saying the measurement of this chemical reaction is based on the fact that one of the moles of the limiting reagent are consumed, the reaction stops, and the moles of the product form depends on the more to more relationship between the limiting reagent and the product. So what is that statement saying? They're simply emphasizing the fact that much of what we're going to have on the product here, much of what we're going to have on the product here will be determined by the limiting reagent on the side of the products. So now, in this chemical reaction, and in this experiment, we've only been given and we've only been provided with five test tubes. The first, tube is, the first test tube is here, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, as well as the fifth one. And then we're also going to be given the volume of the barium chloride, we're going to be given the volume of the sodium sulfate. So now, we are representing the volume of the barium chloride as A. We are representing the volume of the sodium sulfate as B. So from this, we're going to determine the individual moles of A as well as the individual moles of B, and we're going to find out the height of the precipitant as we dive into the logical metamorphosis of this whole entire experiment. Please watch this video on Blessings Academy of Health Sciences. So now let's move on to the entire experiment. Okay, so the materials have been provided as well as the, the methodology. When you get back to your lab manual, you discover to see among this, the materials that have been collected, wow. we have been given 0.5 more of the barium, the barium chloride of solution A, then solution B, which is 0.5 molar of the sodium sulfate. So you can tell from the chemical equation to say the more ratio there is one to one, to mean that they equally have the same concentration of 0.5 molar. So now, the first part of the procedure, when you get back to your lab manual, the first step we are going to find, you'll find that we're supposed to get a volume of 1.5 uh, mils of solution A. We have it in here. So now, you're going to be given a beaker, which is going to contain solution A. And then we're going to fill the B rate to maximum zero mils. Okay? And then from that point... We're going to ensure that we're going to get a volume of 1.5 mils. So now, this is the first test tube. So test tube number one, we're getting a volume of 1.5. So we're starting from zero, from this position here. So you need to be accurate in the use of the B rate. Because when you start from zero, then I drop it down. I only need a volume of 1.5. So the one is right there. And the 1.5 is there. So I'll make sure I move this until I get 1.5 mils of solution A. And then later on, we're supposed to get 3.5 in test tube B, in test tube 2, and test tube 3, we're supposed to get 5 mils. Test tube 4, we're supposed to get 6.5. And test tube 5, we're supposed to get 8.5. Remember, we were given 5 test tubes. So now, the second part, we're supposed to get 3.5 mils. So we're just going to add 3.5 to 1.5. What we're going to get there will be the volume that we're going to get from the, what? From the B rate. So this is the first part of the experiment that we're supposed to do. Let's move on to solution B. Okay, so we've done already the first part of the experiment where we collected uh, the individual volumes of uh, solution A. So now we want, on to, we want to move on, but before that, we're going to come here because we're supposed to hit those volumes of the solution A that we got. 
And I think the reason why we're supposed to hit them, I think here we'll amplify, the side here will amplify the reason why we're supposed to hit the volumes of the solution A that we got from the first bench. Yeah, in order for the react to add the reacting to properly react, we need to hit the barium chloride so that when we react it with the sodium sulfate, the reaction will be quickly enhanced in order for us to get a maximum yield from this reaction. Yeah, so uh, we'll go to, 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 uh, to the Durex that are having uh, sodium sulfate, where we are going to measure, we are, we are going to measure 8.5 mil in order for us to get the precipitate which is required for this test tube. So from here, we are going to measure. That is 1.5, 1 mil, 2 mil, 3 mil, 4 mil, 5 mil, 6 mil, 7, 7 mil, 8 mil. So we have collected. The total volume that we have collected is 10 mil. So we'll let the test tube to stand for 30 minutes in order to uh, have the enough yield of the precipitate, which is going to be measured. In there. So from this test tube, we'll go to second test tube, where we are going to get another, another test tube, second test tube, test tube two where we are going according to the table in the manual, uh, the table for, for test tube 2 is 6.5. Is telling us to measure 6.5. 6.5. Again, we'll come and correct 6.5 from this volume. So, you, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So, we'll, we'll end at 23.5. We we'll end at 23.5. 23.5. Okay, we are there. So we have collected. So the total also brings us to, to 10 mils. 10 mils. Yeah, 10 mils of the solution. Then we go also to the third test tube where we are going to measure sodium sulfate of how much according to the table? We are measuring 5.0 mils. 5.0 mils. So from so we we'll let to cancel the okay so we we'll measure from so we are going to measure from 24 to 30. yes sir 30 mils this is no 29. now we're 20, getting yeah, 29 yes. we'll get to five so we we'll measure up to 29 to to get to get five mils okay here we are we have correct. So the total volume also is, 10 is giving us 10 mils. 10 mils we'll put there. Then the last test, no, the second last test tube to four. Test to four. Test to four. We are measuring 3.5 mils. Yeah, we are measuring 3.5 mils. So again, we are measuring 3 point so one, two, three. Three, so it means that two point point five point five. That's where we are going to end in our measurement. So two point five. Okay, we are there. So we have we have put here again uh, three point five of sodium sulfate to, to make ten mils. Ten mils. Yeah. Then the last test tube of five test tube five. We are going to measure one point five. We're going to measure 1.5. 1.5 of sodium sulfate. So here, yeah, so we we'll end at 34. Yes, sir. We we'll end at 34. So we we'll measure that up to 34. Yeah. Then we we'll let these test tubes to stand for 30 minutes in order to to heal to have a good yield of the precipitate barium barium sulfate. Yeah, so these test tubes are going to stand for 30 minutes in order to correct the precipitate which is required according to the reaction, to the more natures of the 
reaction of this uh, uh, reagents. Yeah, okay. I think I can end there. All right. So this is how we are. We have done the experiment. Remember the first part that we did. We got a certain volume of A. The second part of B. We got a certain volume of B. The A was representing the barium chloride. The B is representing the sodium sulfate. Okay. So from there, you are going from the table. When you get back to your lab manual, you are going to find the individual moles of A, the individual moles of B. Then from the, pre, from the products that we have, we have here, you are going to measure the heights of the precipitants that are formed in these depth tubes. So please, I encourage all first years to watch this video before attending the lab session so that you can have an easy ride throughout the course of the entire lab. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Blessings Academy of Health Sciences. Show the precipitants. You can show the precipitants there.